Hello everyone, so this video is kind of a part two of Planicon Europe 2019. I already have a video up with a little mini vlog and a share of what was in the goodie bag, which I will link for you if you haven't seen. But this video I am sharing with you my swaps and shops haul. So this is everything that I either purchased at the event, a couple of things I purchased in Brussels city centre as well, and then all of the swaps and swap table things. These are two very full and very heavy bag so I imagine this video is going to be kind of a long one. So I'm going to start with the swap stuff, just all of this in here and another thing which I'm going to show you in a minute. This was all I suppose for want of a better word free. Just to explain if you haven't been to a planner or crafty event before um, there's a mix of things in here. There's either stuff from what is called the swap table or four tables, four large tables as they were at PlannerCon Europe which is basically you put stuff down on the table, you know, stuff you want to de-stash, stuff you don't like anymore, maybe you were given it by someone else, it's not for you, just or you, you know, you don't think you're going to use it, you know, you just put it down there and then you also take things that other people have put down. It doesn't have to be like a like for like, you don't put down a notebook and pick up a notebook, you don't put down a washi tape and pick up a washi tape. You don't put down 10 things and only pick up 10 things. It's not like strict. You don't have to put anything down. You don't have to pick anything up. It's just a kind of a free for all situation. And as well as that, at this event, there were more uh, personal swaps that people did. So people made like little swap baggies and boxes and things and gave them to people. Some people do it to swap directly with someone else, like they're very much personalised ones. Some people just like to hand them out. You know, it's all mu very much whatever. There are no rules is basically what I'm saying here. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have time to make any swap bags and I kind of regret that, but I just, I didn't have time before the event, unfortunately. But some people still very kindly gave me things. Some people just like handed them out randomly. A couple of people um, who knew me or had we talked on Instagram or something, gave me things. One lady, I took a picture for her, so she gave me a thing, you know. Just I think that covers it anyway. So I'm just gonna pull stuff out of this bag at random, um, in no particular order, so let's just jump in. Right, so I'm gonna grab handfuls at a time because there is just so much stuff. Um, this, again, it's just a mix of stuff from the table and uh, direct swaps going on here. I've just got some, I don't even know where to start on like describing and explaining things because I just picked up so many pretty things. So many people, this swap table as well, Almost every person I spoke to at this event said something, you will not believe what I got at the swap table. Like every person, it's just so much fun, it's so cool. Anyway, this is a load of beautiful stickers that I got, some Daphne's Diary ones there, some lovely foiled labels, some little tiny words, foiled pink ones. This from Strawberry Lime Designs, this envelope is just everything. I love it so much and if I can, it's quite hard to open actually. There we go. So in there was this beautiful sticker sampler sheet. They're just a mix of full boxes and half boxes. I love those. And then this really pretty card as well. How gorgeous is that? I love it. Random journaling card I picked up that was pretty. This is from Planaface. Again, awesome little baggy there. Those two little envelopes slash bags are just brilliant. And this is this tiny little plastic sticker sampler holder says I've got a sticker for that and there's two mini samplers inside how sweet are they we've got this little swap bag and it says on here Tamara natural wellness and health educator this was a Dutch lady who gave us these because we've got the little waffles that I don't know how to pronounce properly and I'm not gonna um try because I always absolutely butcher saying them some lovely oh pretty papers in here we love this one here, the sort of distressedy one, love that. And also, I think there is a cute a little washi tape and some lovely stickers. Whoops, that is fun. I like that. And oh, it's glittery as well. I'm gonna have to start putting all the edibles to one side over there. Then this I got from the swap table. It was wrapped in this absolutely beautiful glittery paper, which I'm gonna carefully unseal and use for something else it is gorgeous now it had been opened already by someone else so there may not be everything in here that's supposed to be if you know what I mean but I'll just pull all these things out so it is a lovely simply gilded case there which I think I'm going to use as a makeup bag because it's just it's that perfect size for a makeup bag and it is simply beautiful and then inside is some cute little embellishments paper clip 
two very sweet little washi tapes. I love those little ice cream cones there. And this says, hope you like your swap. You can tag me on Insta if you want. Um, Brigitte from Germany, have a good time. I think that must be her um, Instagram name. So I'm gonna put that aside so I can find her and thank her. Whoops, flying washi tape. So these cute little poofy embellishments, a bow paper clip here. I love these chunky paper clips. I don't know what it is about them that's just so very attractive. I don't know. There is a Planner Society little patch there. How pretty is that? And a selection of lovely journaling cards. I'm sorry, I have to go through this quickly, otherwise we will be here for hours and hours. A little pocket one there, and then some beautiful foiled stickers. Then this lovely little box here says a present for you. This is, was handed to me by someone. I haven't opened this, but it did sort of open itself um, in my suitcase, so some things may have fallen out. I don't know for sure. Oh, what is in here? I just assumed that was like a tea bag, but it's not. It's a tiny little gift baggie. So in here, oh, it's one of those paper clips with the little dangling charms on. Oh, I absolutely love that with those beautiful little black gems in there. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Another little baggie here with another little paper clip, little pom-pom one in blue. There is a very, very skinny little washi tape in here. Oh, look at that. That's like a beautiful champagne glittery gold. And then there is two sets of stickers and I'm guessing that this is the person who did the box. It says Planner Ladies, name is Kim, Instagram at Planner Lady Kim. So I'm assuming that's the person. So thank you so much if you are watching. I will also put this aside so I can find them on Instagram. I've got like food pile, stuff pile, to search on Instagram pile. Anyway, it's really beautiful stickers there. I love this little ducky and I like the pile of books on there. And there's all these little planner stickers there. Like it says planning time and that's like the girl filling in her planner and stuff. So super cute. All right, next batch here. I think this is mostly swap table stuff. Just a little set of cute little sticker flakes there, like little postage stamp size ones. I'm not gonna open them up because again, here for a long time. This little thing that says $10,000, which just I thought would be fun for junk journaling. I picked up this really beautiful glittery sort of mini TN. Now I carry in my handbook, handbook? Handbag, oh dear. Handbag, a little notebook that's this kind of size. So I thought it would just be cute to cover it with this and have it in my handbag because it's super pretty. There's this wad of fake um, US dollars, hundred dollar bills that's actually a memo pad on the back. Again, I just thought those would be really fun for junk journaling. Some simply creative decoupage papers and I just saw these and had to have them because they've kind of got that spooky vibe going on and there's like the, the crow on the trees and yeah, I just really like them. A cute little stamp here, which I thought would be absolutely fabulous for mixed media projects. Aha, another swap thing here. So this is from, I really hope I'm not butchering this, but Jengzi, um N1, I think that says on Instagram. She handed this to my friend and I when we were outside. I just will open it up here. Right, put that aside for my to follow on Instagram pile. How beautiful is this? I don't know if I'm supposed to open it or not because it's like it's a watercolored underneath, but I love the way this is presented. It is so, so beautiful. And there's also a cute little sticker and another little sticker there. Postcard I thought would be good for junk journaling. This pile of really pretty butterfly, sorry, I'm showing you them upside down, butterfly and floral stickers. Again, just thought they would be great for journaling. There was a massive, massive pile of these, but I was like, I won't take them all. I'll just take a little, a little watch. There were some more of these on the table. The lovely Rachel from Ellie Beth Designs UK gave us these, gave us a choice and I just saw the colours and I was like, I want this one because it looks so pretty. There's also the card in there as well, which is just absolutely stunning. So definitely keeping that for something. And so there's this sticker kit here, which is kind of like a autumnal, pumpkin-y, vaguely Halloween one, but it says there shall be eternal summer in the Grateful Heart. I think that is absolutely beautiful. Then we have these two little bits, which I, from someone else we met outside, the front, uh, she was called Vanya, I think, or Vanya? Vanya, I, th I think that's how you say it. Anyway, she made these little planner girl earrings. How amazing are they? Just, just wow. They say planner girl and PCE 2019, just in case you can't see those. And then also a little tea bag. And how 
brilliant is that idea of to present a little tea bag like in Happy Mail or something. I am definitely stealing that idea. It's kind of going to break my heart to open it, but also I want the tea bag. But I just, how good is that idea? I'm going to have to hurry it along because we are getting nowhere fast through this bag. So here we go. Really lovely paper clip there with the floral fabric. A Prima Marketing watercolour. I think that's a metallic one as well, sort of a coppery, bronzy toned one, which, and that says with love from Enid Bujo. I picked that up off the swap table, but I'm gonna put that in my to find on Instagram pile. I've got a stray of one, another one of those floral sticker sheets. Found these lovely birdie stickers, had to have little birdie stickers there. Some Prima Marketing chalk ATCs, so they're kind of like journaling card size, and you can just write on them in white. I thought those would be great for journaling and things. And then this did have a sticker on to say who it was from, but I think it came off. Oh, it's inside here. So here it says from Sigrid there, and there is a little QR scanny thing there, which I don't know if I'll be able to rescue. Or maybe, I'll give it a try, put it over here. So in here we've got a lovely sticker that says never not create. There's this which says uh, happy planner con girls are the prettiest and it says by Sigrid Spiration. I love that name. Beautiful card there. I think I actually have a second one of these because this was obviously packed up and closed. Um, and I saw this on its own on the, on the swap table, so I picked one up. So I do have two of these, I think, not realising it was in there as well. In here, it says sticker. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, I don't want to... Oh. So there were some really, really lovely, pretty stickers in there, especially that floral there, which I absolutely love. And then some lovely washi samples, this ginormous alphabet one. I particularly like this really lovely stamp set here I just think this is beautiful beautiful vintagey vibe I love this one in particular that you could just stamp and like put like mini journaling or something in there and the bikes and like the little edgy things you know little flourishes you can use at the end of titles and things and that was from Philo Lover who I'm gonna put on my little pile over there also from a junk journalers perspective I'm just loving all these little baggies and stuff I can use for that too just a cute little once more with love postcard that says so many people love you, don't focus on the people who don't love that. Some chipboard here, I don't recognise the brand or anything, I just thought it was really really cute, I just love the little florals there, and like the, the frames especially on this side, little speech bubble that says hi. Then there is this little set of little note cards and envelopes and I just thought these were beautiful and like they're really beautiful quality and I just, these were there I think, we had a little look on the swap table on the last day towards the end and they were still there and I just thought oh I'm gonna have to have them because they are beautiful. Next up some just little sort of sentiment stickers there, I just love the sort of florally things there. It's another one of those cards, the one I told you about that I picked up because I didn't realise there was one already in that bag, but there was a big pile of them, so I think there was enough to go around. Just a little bag here of acetate ephemera, and some of them are sort of lacy. I just thought they were really, really pretty. Some more vintagey looking stamps. I just couldn't resist. I just love a vintagey looking thing, like the champagne bottle and the typewriter. What is it about typewriters that we all love? I don't know, but they're adorable. This diamond sheet from Prima, which I kind of just picked up because I thought it would be really good for mixed media if I can open it. So it sort of opens up like this and it's just, yeah, as I said, I thought it would be really good for doing some 3D mixed media projects. It's sort of just all these little gems that are super stuck onto this piece of jelly, plasticky, I don't know, as I said, I thought it'd be good for mixed media, and it's in pre, it's Prima as well, so you get the beautiful packaging to use in other things. Some of the Tim Holtz snarky comments, tiny word stickers, I just, I love this pack so much, and I couldn't resist getting a little extra sheet there. Then we have these uh, Lisa Gibbons Prima pocket pads, let's open this up. Right, yeah, so they're little pockets that you can just, you know, assemble yourself, put in your journals and things. I thought, oh, I love that little pencils on there say so we've got say japan england and deutschland on i just yeah i just love those i think they are very cute oh especially that one with the sort of airmail stripes on there those are fabulous some little daphne's diary diary tabs just again cute useful some more bits here that were sort of directly from people this um it doesn't have a name 
on it, so I can't give you a name, but there was a lady sort of saying, does anyone want American candy? And I'm like, hell yes, I want some American candy. I do not, do not know what half those things are, but I'm looking forward to trying them. Slightly funny story behind this one. So this says it's from Emma Claire, and it has Black Cat Halloween washi sample on there. She overheard me say something to my friend about Black Cat's around the swap table and came over and gave gave this to me but it turns out um Emma and her friend were sat in front of my friend and I on the Eurostar and none of us realized until later on it was one of those things where you know you kind of get that vibe and we were looking at them like do you reckon they could be going like maybe they could be going but because we're British we don't have the guts or the whatever to be like, hello, are you going to Planicon? So anyways, they were, we were right next to each other on the Eurostar the whole way there. And anyways, it's not that funny a story. I just felt the need to tell it. But anyway, that's from her. Then there is this little buggy here. And again, I don't think this one has a name on it. Now I know the lady who gave this to me, she had a name tag on which had her Instagram name. So I was like, oh, I'll follow you right here, right now. And I typed it into Instagram, but we were just outside of the venue where my 4G just wasn't working and the Wi-Fi for the venue didn't work out there. So it wasn't working. I was like, oh, I'll do it as soon as I get in. Of course, I forgot to do it. And now I can't for the life of me remember what her Instagram name is. So if, on the off chance you have found this video and you are watching, please comment or send me a message or whatever so I can find you on Instagram. But anyway... Thank you so much. There is a beautiful caffeine free little tea bag there. This really pretty mint washi with arrows on. Some little sweeties here. And this very beautiful leaf die cut with the gold foiling. And then this beautiful little bag was from a lady called Alex who said she did the washi samples especially for me, which is really, really sweet of her, of you if you are watching, said so she did on purpose all the sort of turquoisey minty blue ones knowing that I love those colours. So thank you so much for those. How gorgeous are those? I just love them. I don't know if those, are those simply gilded there with the bows? Hmm, maybe, but just really, really pretty. The bag itself is beautiful and there is some chocolate in there as well, which I'm looking forward to trying. All right, the bag is empty, but that doesn't mean we're over with the swaps yet. Have some washi tapes here. I've got three really beautiful, chunky washies here. This one says Souvenir Paris on this one with these florals, which is beautiful. And this one, which has like little postage stamps and airmail things on there. This wood grain that says beauty is all around with little florals on there this one is a sommy tape that has those beautiful florals a little ollie clip and ollie block selection here they, they always surprise me with how strong they are this is only my second ever ollie clip so in here so there is the ollie block little card there and then oh the stickers one that says ollie block there i don't know how well you'll be able to see that these little stickery things as well and then obviously the clip itself two little pads here this one filled with vellum quotes and I just love me some vellum so I thought I would pick that up I have lots and lots of uses for these and then also this paper pad which I just flipped through and thought was really 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 pretty and I haven't seen it before even though like I see this brand a lot but I have not seen this particular one that paper <gasps> Oh, beautiful. So anyways, I thought that was gorgeous, so I picked it up. And then also from the swap table, something rather exciting and shocking is 10 rolls of Simply Gilded washi tape, which is just, just wow. We were there when the lady put them down. I have obviously, as I said, I've got 10. Did not take them all, by the way. Could have just grabbed the whole lot and run, but I did like look through to see which ones I actually liked rather than getting them for the sake of them being so simply gilded and my friend Alice who was with me even asked the lady like she's like are you sure because you know you could sell these for like a fortune she's going no no I want to you know put them down so okay um, but anyway very exciting for me I've never ever had a simply gilded tape before so I've got this set here I actually only originally had I think these two and Alice had picked up this one so I swapped one of my other ones that I picked up for her so I could have the full set 
of these. There is the purple, the teal and the black. I don't know how well those are showing up. This butterfly one, which is absolutely gorgeous. There is this one, which is a slim sort of lilac-y color. Uh, it says things like reach for the stars, stardust, star power, rock on, on there. This lovely sort of royal, dark royal blue, not quite navy color with the gold bikes on. And then of course some simply gilded bows. So there is a beautiful blue with the gold bows on, a skinny one which is pink with hollow bows, and then a slim and a skinny white with the gold bows on, and that is just, just wow, so excited. Never had Simply Gilded before, ever, so with that and my little samples as well, and my little, it's just, it's just very, very exciting for me. So that was the swap table. I do have one more swap related thing to show you though. So the last sort of swap related thing I have to show you, basically things I didn't purchase. This is from Sabine, who is a long time subscriber, very frequent commenter. We've chatted on Instagram and things and she made this up especially for me and I, I did try and wait for the video, but I couldn't. So I have already looked in here. Cute little doily there with my name on it, love. It, so yes, it's probably not as beautifully packaged as it was because I couldn't wait to look inside, but here we go. So first up we have some German sweeties and some pretzels. They're like hard pretzels with the salt. I'm just looking forward to trying those. These two really gorgeous pencils, one with the blue glitter, absolutely beautiful. And then this Faber-Castell, whoops, stay there pencil, this Faber-Castell pencil which look it has the glittery at the top I just I love it and a Muji black gel pen which has been those I have really wanted to try for a long time because I love my thin or fine nib gel pens and I couldn't get these apart from in like a pack of 10 or something off Amazon so bless her she got me one of these I'm very I'm gonna try that right now oh I do like that pen oh I do like that that is smooth Anyways, sorry, probably boring you with pen things, um, but yes, I'm really happy about this. Thank you so much, Sabine. There is a little baggie here, which has some really beautiful sort of material bits inside. There's these doilies here. Well, they're kind of, I'll show you. Here we go. So they're doilies, but they're fabric doilies. How lovely are they? And then these ones, whoops, there they go. They're like denim. I love them. Some really lovely wooden spiral embellishments here. And then some lace. Here is that. Oh, it's adhesive lace. I love me some adhesive lace. It makes life so much easier. Look at those. This is the cutest little thing. So there's this little sort of envelope that says meow on it. And then there's this tiny, tiny little black cat paperclip. How cute is that? And a little star as well. It says a little Conan for on the go. I just I love it thank you so much if it just for anyone who doesn't know Conan is my black cat so just love and then there is this which I just love it so much she has created this beautiful beautiful star keyring that says planet on Europe inside and then on the other side it says my name I just I love this I really really do I can't decide if I want to use it as a planner charm or maybe put it on my like little um, Brussels memory keeping book or something. I can't decide, or even just on my keys. I don't know, but I just, I, tr I love it. Right, my camera cut out on me, so I'm a little thrown off as to where I was. But here is a beautiful card. Now I'm not gonna read the inside, I just wanted to show you the front because I love it so much and it's got a little sugar skull pin in it. I think it says you are unique. And then something else, but um, I mean, my German's not completely atrocious, but it's not great. So um, yes, I definitely know what du bist means. But yeah, I need to drag out my old uh, German to English dictionary just to double check that one. I'm sure someone can probably tell me on the comments for sure, but I think it says you are unique, but it's beautiful and I love the pin. This envelope we need to talk about for a second because wow hollow and says hip hip hooray on it and then inside are a load of washi samples hang on i think i'm missing one i'm sure there was four 
I found it, it fell out. So yes, beautiful samples here. Obviously she just knows my taste and stuff. Watercolors and blues and florals and I just, and foils as well, love them. Now due to the little filming whoopsie, um, I'm not 100% sure what went in what bag because I'm having to redo this, but in this bag at least were these beautiful little sequin flowers. How cute are they? And then also, these beautiful journaling cards, like watercolour style, just so my thing. And then these adhesive pearls and gems, look at those colours, I love them so much. And then these ones, those blues especially, and then also these ones, the polka dots, just, ah, uh, Sabine, I feel like you watch my channel too much because this is just too perfect. In this little baggie are all these little postage stamp stickers and I just think these are fabulous. These little animal ones are adorable and these floral ones are just, just so gorgeous. Absolutely very much my thing there. Oh, butterflies, florals, little birdies as well. Beautiful. Then there is this, which I wouldn't really say it's a postcard because it's much, much thicker, but this print here with the foiling on, this is just going straight into my journal. And then lastly, this really gorgeous magnetic memo pad and it's got the florals on the pages as well. I love it when pa papers, pages that you just use for note paper have something pretty on them. It, you don't find it enough and it just makes me happy. Anyway, talking too much, beautiful florals. I love it so, so much. And I think that is it from Sabine, because of the filming mess up, I hope I haven't like think I thought I filmed something and then I haven't and it's cut out or something. So hopefully that was it. But yes, thank you so, so much Sabine. I cannot thank you enough for this. I absolutely just adore all of it. And also even like the little gift bags and stuff will be used in my channel. So not a thing will be wasted and the sweets will be eaten. So that is it for all the swap related things. Again, a massive thank you to Sabine for that amazing little parcel of goodies you made up for me and to anyone else who gave me things, Alex for my samples, just all of the lovely things, whether it was like done, just handed to me or people just getting rid of stuff. I appreciate it all. And all the amazing swap table stuff. Seriously, as I said before, the amount of people who were just like, you'll never believe what I picked up on the swap table. It was just, it was fantastic and it was so much fun and everyone was just having a whale of a time with it. Let me know if I picked up something from the swap table that was yours. I always find it fun after these events when people go, oh, that was mine and oh, that was mine. Like I, I like seeing Pete on other people's videos and go, oh, look, I put that on the swap table. So anyways, right, that's enough of that. Let us go on to the things that I purchased over the weekend. Um, just a couple of things that I actually bought in Brussels rather than at the event. We went to Hamer and I just got some of these lovely mint and black alpha stickers because it's my favorite color combo. These stickers, which I have had before, I have used quite a few of them and I just really love them. I just love the colors and the gold foiling and there's five sheets in there, which I think is brilliant. They were only something like a euro 50 for five sheets. And then these little magnetic black and white bookmarks, just little clips or whatever. Thought those were cute. And then also at Hamer, not exactly planner related, but I got a new phone case because look how pretty, look how pretty blue stars and blue glitter and I just love it. And I got a new phone and hadn't got it a pretty case yet. So yay. And then also some touristy bits here, postcards and whatnot for doing all the memory keeping and obviously I will use the bags as well for things. So just some postcards here. This was from one of just like the generic touristy gift shops that are just kind of everywhere, but I thought those were fab. And then this one was from this shop, which was just down the road from the famous that. And um, it was really different from all the other touristy shops. And yeah, we really liked it in there. So. And it was kind of unique, like I think they did their own designs or something, I don't know for sure, but just some things, again, for the journaling and the memory keeping that I thought would be pretty good. These are coasters, but I will not be using them for coasters. One that says Brussels, one with 
the town hall and one that says the sweet taste of Brussels with a waffle on it. Yes, we did have some waffles while we were there. They were delicious. One that says I love Belgian chocolate because that's probably where most of my money went on chocolate chocolate and food really. Um, I would show you a haul of all the chocolate but it's not all there anymore. It is, some of it is gone. A lot of it is gone. Anyways, this I thought would be handy to cut up all the I Heart Brussels ones and then it's kind of the same that was on the coasters. One with the town hall and one with the sweet taste of Brussels. Oh, I could so eat Belgian waffle right now. Nom nom nom. As for things purchased at the actual event, I didn't spend nearly as much money as I thought I was going to. I didn't just, I mean, I spent a bit, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't seem like a lot of items at the moment. But anyway, from the Carpe Diem stand, because I love Carpe Diem, I love simple stories, I got the Simple Vintage, Vintage Botanicals collection kit because I've been eyeing up this collection for some time now basically ever since it was announced and then it got released and it was like only a few weeks before going away I was like I can't justify getting it at this time and then I saw it and I was like I just have to have it so I will just quickly show you in here so papers I'll do this fairly quickly not like a proper scrapbooking haul or something this is called embrace life beautiful day oh my goodness it's so pretty I haven't had a proper look myself yet so scatter kindness this is just me all over look how beautiful that is oh my goodness I can't cope everyday bliss there oh wow that is oh just running out of words shine bright there this is such a beautiful collection um hello happy with the butterflies on there love and sunshine oh wow 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 collect moments how beautiful is that then cut apart here two by two elements those are so pretty absolutely love those three by four elements there on the other side four by four elements so oh look at the birdies on the other side as well oh they're so pretty and the four by six elements as well and then you get the 12 by 12 sticker sheet as well this collection honestly just absolutely delicious then to go with that i got the bits and pieces ephemera the four by six stickers and the washi tape so those are the washi tapes there I won't get them out again trying to be time sensitive but just that's so pretty I want to cry we'll quickly go through this lot this collection has to be one of my favorites so far this year just look at it it is absolutely gorgeous oh I love those long ones they're so pretty just love it so much I think I got everything from this collection that they had available at the stall there are other bits available in this collection which now I obviously now really really want because it's one of those now I'm now thinking I have to have all of it but as I said I did get everything they had available there and then we have the bits and pieces I won't get these out because there are quite a lot in there but if I show you the back hopefully you can get a good idea there what is in there beautiful botanical drawings and butterflies and florals and just <sighs> then I have a couple of bits from well okay craftalia craftalia who knows because after years of wondering how you say it I went up and I asked them it's like can you confirm how to say it you know what they said they shrugged their shoulders looked at me like I had three heads and say say it however you want I'm like no how do you say it tell me how to say it and they just didn't they were just like you can call it craft to you can call it craft tell it doesn't matter i'm like it matters to me so and basically i had the opportunity to confirm and i didn't get it confirmed and i'm kind of grumpy about it but that doesn't mean i didn't use my 10 pound craft tell voucher and order something so there'll be a haul from that shop shortly anyway show you what i bought at the event I bought two of these Recollections paper pads. I'm just going to slice open at the side. Okay, so I've got the Sweetwater and the Spring 
posies, um, one is 72 sheets, the sort of the bonus one, and one is 36 sheets, but the bonus one um, was only 80 cents more than that one. So I'm having that slight regret that I didn't get more, but at the same time, do I really need more? Anyways, so the big one, the Sweet Water, just to do a quick flip through, just mostly has really lovely florals in, a little bit of foiling, some cut apart pages and like some full ones like that one. It's just really, really pretty watercolour florals, which is kind of one of my favourite things. So I thought I had to have it. I think actually it was this one that I picked up and then I put back and then I saw my friend had it. So I was like, well, if you're buying it, I have to buy one as well because otherwise I'm just going to be jealous. So yeah, there's that one. I love that there's foiling in these. They're so pretty. So this is the Spring Posies. I kind of wish they had the bonus size in this one because I think I prefer this one a little bit I don't know they are both really really beautiful though I just especially love all these little cut apart ones just so very very pretty the foiling is just yummy and these butterflies how lovely are they and then also from craft who knows that shop I got some of the Mabby sticker books so I've got the little uh, adulting one which is something I've had my eye on for a while this was five euros and it's just got things in here that that make me chuckle really um there's some that are like really really positive like your goals don't care how you feel and then there's ones that just say things like cleverly disguised as an adult and like adulting like reward badges this one that just says lol bye is my favorite I'm like lol bye love it so much so there's some little expletive ones there so just a fun little sticker book with fun adulting related things in there and then two of the bigger Mambi sticker books these were 20 euros a piece and this one is happy illustrations and i'll just go through fairly quickly look at the little kitty cat with golden foil whiskers um yeah fairly quickly for the sake of time beautiful florals cacti and succulents rainbows i just love this illustration style little cups, cakes and ice creams, balloons, little kitty that just makes me really happy every time I see the kitty cat. These little sort of header ones, some are foiled. Foiling in here is really, really beautiful as well. It's just really simple and pretty. This one and some of my other Mambi ones, like I love them, but they, some of them are a bit similar-ish and I can't tell what book I'm in, but this one I think is quite, different from some of the others if that makes sense there look at the page with the kitties and the doggies it's my favorite you know hanging succulents watering cans fruits some quotes there just growing beauty and simplicity there is a llama page and I'm not a llama person so I may pull this out and give this one to someone else then there is the planner one and then these little banners that have um holidays on there obviously it's an American book so there's some that I probably won't use like Independence Day or Labor Day but still very cute floral wreaths and that is it for that book then this is the simply lovely one and it is what it says on the tin it is simply lovely look at those florals aren't they just gorgeous I think yeah there's three pages of those little sort of pom-pom banners just some general words family time girls night vacay some full boxes with the foiling more full boxes more full boxes more full boxes some really big ones there that have like the bit that sticks out so you can write on them more boxes with today and top three and the foiling today ones look at that foiling isn't it pretty and then these ones, like the sort of three quarter size and then the half size are just, I really, really like this sticker book, especially the big ones. I am a big fan of those big ones. These foil ones focus on the good. Mm, just really nice. There's a slight Maggie Holmes vibe to this one. It's not, it's like, it's not copying at all. I would never say that, but there's a slight vibe to it that just reminds me of her style and I'm a big fan of her style, so. Some bows, trackers, washi strips, words, tiny word things, good days, always wonder, and the little circles with words. And then I love these checklists with the scalloped 
edges. Love, love, love those. And some little sort of like icon, not icon, but you know, like little pointer dot stickers and hearts and what we've got, hexagons, triangles. And then this last one has these lovely clear foiled stars on there. So you can just like put those at the top of the page and they just look like free floating stars. So yes. Isn't it pretty? And then the very last thing I bought is from the Leuchtturm 1917 store. I just couldn't resist. They were there. I love a notebook and they were doing free, um, words have just failed me, free personalization with the foiling. I also got myself a gold pen loop because well, because I really wanted it, really. That's why I got it. I just think they're fabulous. What I really, truly wanted, actually, was a white one. But I asked, she said she didn't have them. And I was like, is there a problem? Because I've been looking for one on Amazon and something. And she just kind of gave me that look. As if to say, yeah, white one's hard to find. But yes, I got an A5 navy blue loish term. I got full name embossed on it that was the word I was looking for um we were queuing to get you know the personalization done and Alice and I could just not figure out what to what to get done and the lady in front of us was over obviously overheard our conversation she was like just go full name because it's so classy and I was like you know what you are right I'm gonna go full name so I did unfortunately I couldn't fit my whole name on one line so I had to split it over two but that's fine but I thought gold on the navy with the gold loop, or maybe the navy loop that I got in the goodie bag. I don't know, but it's just beautiful. I got the blank pages. I just, I don't know why I got blank. I think, I'll tell you why I got blank, is because they didn't have any dot grid left in the navy. They only had lines or square grid. Lines, I've got enough line notebooks. Not a big fan of square grid, so I went plain instead. And the cream paper with the navy just looks really really special and there's also this little thing that says thank you very much from like the owners of Loish term or whatever so anyways yeah so there you have it that was the swaps and shops haul from planacon 2019 i do not have all the things in my final shot for obvious reasons there is just far too much to do said a final shot but i will be posting things on instagram if you want another look at anything and yeah i think that's it really thank you so so much for watching do let me know if you have any questions or whatever as i said i did make that extra order from that shop um because they had the 10 euro voucher so look out for that haul coming soon <laughs> there we go i can't quite believe that it's over i mean there was such a build up to it we bought our tickets over a year in advance and we were so looking forward to it and just all that build up and then had the greatest time and then just like that poof it's over <laughs> but i do have all these beautiful things to distract me from the slight sadness that it's over so we do have that there's some other things as well i bought some gifts for family members and things but obviously i'm not going to show those and yeah that's it i kind of feel like i don't want to end this video because then that kind of means the planicon is really really over but i suppose i do need to shut up so okay i'm gonna go thank you so so much for watching Bye bye